Hey guys, welcome to the Masters in Motion podcast. Today we've got a great episode. Rick has already completed the CrossFit Open 24.3 workout and he shares his entire experience. And if you are an audio listener to this podcast, you should head over to the YouTube channel, Jason Grubb YouTube channel, and you'll find the video version of this podcast and you'll be able to watch Rick complete this entire workout while we do the podcast. So, Like and subscribe to the channel there so that you can get notifications when the podcast goes live on that channel. Now, enjoy the podcast. This episode is powered by Thirdsy, your go-to for game-changing sleep recovery. Imagine hitting your workouts harder and waking up feeling unstoppable. That's what Thirdsy's PM Recovery Collagen does for me. It's like a pre-workout, but for your sleep, fueling your body's active recovery processes without any melatonin or sedatives. Just one scoop before bed supports deeper, more restorative sleep so you can crush your fitness goals. Ready to experience your best rest and recovery? Visit thirdsy.com and transform your nights into recovery power hours. Thirdsy, because sleep is the ultimate recovery tool. That's T-H-I-R-D-Z-Y dot com. Save 20% with code Jason Z-Z-Z. All right, we it's us, uh, Rick. You and I, we get <laughs> again. To, we get to share about uh, the final open workout this year. Um, wow, what a doozy that got released! We've in, the, in our past couple of episodes, we've talked for like ten minutes before we even shared what the what the workout is. So let's lead with the CrossFit Open twenty four point three. You've done it, so I'm going to let you introduce the workout. Okay. What is this thing? You got it. Okay, 24.3, which was leaked an hour early. Nice. For whatever reason, poor CrossFit. <laughs> Last year, somebody somebody hacked, not hacked them, but whatever, figured out the URL and got in early. This time, I'm sure somebody pressed the wrong button at the wrong time. But it was up. Sure enough, it was confirmed uh, when Jocko got to do the announcement. Um, uh, thumbs up for him. That was That was fun to watch him do something a little out of his element. Yes. Um, but it is for with a 15-minute time cap. Uh, it is five rounds of 10 thrusters at 95 and 65 and 10 chest to bar pull-ups. So that's the first five rounds. Then you get a minute rest and you must take that minute rest. And then you can start on the next five rounds, which are seven thrusters and seven bar muscle-ups. Um, the weight for the men is 135 and the weight for the women is 95 if I'm mistaken. So, uh, it is a total of 170 reps. It's, uh, uh, 50 thrusters and 50 chest to bars and then 35 bar muscle ups and 35 thrusters. Uh, simple on paper, not simple to perform. Let's put it that way. (laughs) You're already smiling. I am smiling. So (laughs) So if you're, if you're listening to the podcast, um, just know that uh, we do have a, a version of the podcast on YouTube, uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, at some point, Masters of Motion will have its own YouTube channel, but it's on my YouTube channel at this point. And what we have playing in the background starting right now is uh, the video of Rick Stevenson completing this mm-hmm. workout. Uh, it's it's going to be really fun. So, Rick, I'm not going to be distracted by watching you complete the workout back here. But we are sharing this with you the audience watched it. so that I, well, I've already watched it. Um, yeah. but, but so the audience, if, if you do get a chance to tune in to the YouTube video of our podcast here, like and subscribe. You know, this this helps uh, spread the reach for the podcast. Uh, but we get to see Rick complete the workout in the background. And I, I mean, first of all, I am distracted mm-hmm. by a couple of things. First of all, Rick, the depth of your squats on your thrusters uh, and your lockout leaves nothing, <laughs> leaves nothing to doubt. Andrew Hiller, well, we should our, send this to Andrew Hiller right now to say, hey, this. He's, he's not, he's, yeah, he's not coming after me for not that. Not coming after you, your chest of our, I don't even, you don't even need a camera anywhere I near that bar. I can there. see your chest punching the bar. So. Okay, so we know Rick Stevenson does good reps. Well, there was never a question. Um, the The only floor plan uh, deal this this uh, week, and I did have to catch that. I know I was back and forth with you yeah. because I knew I was heading in later this afternoon. Is they just said the bar has to be the the bar has to be five feet from the pull up bar. So I, as you can see, I put some tape down on the floor uh, underneath, directly underneath the pull up bar, and put some tape underneath the. Floor floor uh, on the floor they're five feet out so i knew where my heels were my judge there you can see in the corner thank you very much craig um kept an eye on me if i got a little close he would he would he would say hey watch your heels so 
Um, simple floor plan for the final one. I'll give HQ props on no, really no floor plan the first two weeks and then a uh, tape line on the third. So uh, for an affiliate, this will be very easy to do with as long as you have plenty of um, uh, uh, rig space. And, and and everybody gets their favorite bar. And, <laughs> that is me. I uh, I I love my favorite mm -hmm. bar. It's very very important. Um, does it matter which direction you face on the pull ups? Doesn't say anything about that or which direction you face on the muscle ups? I don't think it did. Okay. Okay. I don't just think six it feet. Did. Yeah, yeah. Again, I love the yeah. simplicity of that. It just makes sure that you know you don't have people getting weird with it. You're not. You know, you're not mm -hmm. putting yourself in danger because people will just straight up put themselves in danger in order to only Correct. have to take one pivot to do thrusters after pull-ups. But um, now that you've done this, right. having the barbell any closer to the bar would not necessarily have been an advantage, right? Because you're no, there is no, no. overwhelming rush. To, what what was the first uh, few rounds of this workout like for you? And I, um, let's go back. Actually, two before you started, before okay. let's step yeah. back. Yeah. Um, you know, you you didn't have a chance to watch all the strategy videos beforehand. You saw it. Mm -mm. You saw it. No. And I know that you started to to get ready and get going into this thing. So, yeah. What 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 went through your head and what was that process like? What did you think going into well, this? Well, we we have worked a lot on uh, a lot of upper body pulling. Um, my chest bars have improved over the last year. You know, I still got that funny kind of donkey kick at the end there, but um, doesn't feel like it there. I I I certainly hit the middle part of my my chest. So I know I'm, uh, pulling effectively. Um, I didn't think the chest bars were going to be too bad and 95 pound thrusters. We can move those. I know that's 50 thrusters at a time. Um, the couple of tips that I did listen to beforehand, it was do not rush yourself through the first five rounds or it, you will pay for it. Um, I heard something like take your Fran time and double it. Um, so you're doing more reps than, than Fran, obviously you're doing five more reps of each and you're doing a, a larger pull with a chest bar as opposed to a, a straight chin over bar pull up. Um, I decided that I was going to go 10 unbroken thrusters and I was going to break the chest bars up six and four. And I really didn't feel anything in the chest until probably round three. Then it started to you know, like, okay, hey, this is an open workout. This is starting to feel it. Um, but it, you know, it doesn't, as we'll get into it, it doesn't really, uh, workout really doesn't start until the second half uh, of this. Did you so, feel it in your grip at all in the first half? You know, so Fran starts it. No. No, no grip issues. Okay. No, I did not. I'm telling you, uh, I'm a couple hours past here. I, I mean, I made sure we, you know, worst kept secret in the world was that we were going to have some bar work this week. So, I mean, I made sure I took care of my hands throughout this week and, and they were fine going into it. But then from an actual grip perspective, everybody's different because in texting back and forth with some friends, I, I know they said, uh, you know, how was your grip? Or I've heard grips blows up and things like that. Mine didn't. So wow. maybe I'm doing something right there with the grip, okay. but something else is not working with your thrusters <laughs> as we'll see but no gr grip was fine um you you take time to shake it out a little bit and you take uh you know you're taking your breaths in between and since this is not a frantic fran pace um i'm going to be coming up here uh at five minute mark that was my final set of thrusters um I didn't glance at the clock, but uh, my judge just yelled or spoke at that time. He was like five minutes in. So I kind of knew where I was. I knew I wanted to be in between that five and six minutes. And I'm going to end up here at 542, I think is where yeah. um, I'm done. I followed the same rep scheme all the way through. Um, but then, and then <laughs> it be gets real. Now, before we um, get there, before we get there, the, the yeah. rep scheme. So I, I do like that rep scheme and I am... I'm considering my breakup strategy, uh, you know, as I look to do this workout tomorrow. Uh, but for you, you know, I, I see after you've completed the first five rounds, you've got some fatigue mm -hmm. going on. Uh, would you mm -hmm. have changed anything looking back? Would you have changed that first rep scheme, maybe six and four on the thrusters? Or does 10 feel like it was, it was totally doable? And, like, you know, what, you, were you able to recover during maybe, that minute? Maybe. Uh... Well, yeah, you see, I grabbed my belt, yeah. grabbed a little drink and toweled myself off. Um, 
for the video, we fast forwarded this. We don't want any internet trolls out here. I did show my weights in the bar. Yes, we did. Uh, we were apparently allowed to use two bars. They used two bars. We saw Boz actually switched the bar out for Jay in the uh, live video. So I went ahead and just loaded two bars up. Um, I it started to, I think right there. Yeah. I mean, it started to really compound. Sure. Um, I don't know if I would have broken up the thrusters because that's just an extra added break. Yeah. And once you're, it's only 10 thrusters, it's at 95 and we all know the trick to breathe at the top. Yes. Um, you know, continuing to breathe through, but if you're going to rest, you're going to rest at the top a little bit. Yep. I, I did not feel bad at all on those thrusters. I could there be a redo in, in, in store? Maybe, but I don't know if I'd change anything in the first part. Okay. Now when, we'll get to the second part. As That's we, where I think I would. Yeah. As we go into the second part, I see your, your looks like you're going four, three to start with your, your thrusters. Mm -hmm. um, Correct. I've heard, uh, maybe I heard someone say, I, I think I've only, I've only listened to a couple of things, but I've heard someone say that, you know, once you hit that second set of thrusters, you, you, your legs are immediately toasted um, or they start to feel immediately Correct. toasted. Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So Absolutely. these aren't like fresh thrusters at 135 after a minute rest. No, I, I should be squat cleaning 135 into that first thruster. Yep. And I don't think I did I'll have to check. I, I mean, you know, my mind shuts off there, but I think I needed to power clean it, get set, make sure I had my balance and then, and then thruster, which again, that wastes some time. Um, uh, the bar muscle ups for me, I love that movement. Yes. If you know me, um, anything on the bar is fun. Any bar muscle up or ring muscle up. That's, that's my name. I never felt bad grip or anything. I did go four and three just because seven is a very doable number. Uh, however, it was just starting to, um, to compound. And I'll tell you where my legs felt is when you get done with your set of, um, bar muscle ups when i land yeah i felt everything rush to the my quads sure. i was like oh my goodness yeah that was an unusual feeling we've all been doing this for a long time i can't remember here at the end of the uh the video is a little at least on my side it's a little skippy there you land and i could just feel my quads blow up yeah so then you're walking over to the bar with blown up quads starting thrusters again that's just not a good it's not a good combination so, so what do you do what do you do you know when you you're you're, you're there you're, you're pacing around you're about ready to do your second round of heavier <sighs> thrusters um you know what what do you tell yourself how do you how do you get yourself back to the bar because i imagine you're feeling um a little uh, probably a little overwhelmed at the fact yeah. that you have 28 more yep. reps to go and your legs already feel yep. like this well <laughs> Luckily, I was thinking in terms of rounds. I was not thinking in terms of reps at that point. I was like, okay, here's round two. Here's round three. Okay. Um, I, uh, again, I did this solo. If somebody were next to me, I'm the type of athlete that maybe might push a little bit harder if somebody was next to me, honestly. Sure. Um, there were a couple of people off camera that were cheering and yelling, and that, that was much appreciated and helped. But look, right there, you can't hear it, but. I'm gasping for air. Okay. It, real, it really was, it was legs and lungs. Yeah. It was not grip. Okay. This was not a grip or, or, a, or a, a muscle failure on any part of the pulling motion. This was, this was uh, legs and lungs. Heart rate. And it's, it's interesting. Heart rate goes way heart up. Rate. I mean, I imagine this is one of those yep. workouts where the heart rate starts to climb by round two and three on the first round and really, mm -hmm. really starts to just elevate here. And by the looks of it, you're at a really uncomfortable heart rate and you've got five more minutes to endure this uncomfortable mm -hmm. heart rate, uh, before the time yeah. cap. But see, I'm, I'm not coming close to failing a, um, a muscle up. Nope. I, you know, big kip and a mop. I'm like, okay, this felt feels good. Sure. But then as soon as you come down, boom, the legs again, I was like, oh. <laughs> it's really, it's really curious. Um, <sighs> I know that I'm going to feel that exact same thing tomorrow. Uh, and it is, it's sort of like when we're doing thrusters, we do, it's such a smooth motion that I imagine when you come down mm -hmm. off the bar and you're landing in this, uh, this, this quick Violent. jolt. Yeah. And, and your legs yes. just, yeah. it's, it's a different sense of muscle fiber that gets activated when you're catching yourself coming off mm -hmm. the bar. Maybe I'll come off the bar and gently let myself down to the ground tomorrow. Um, put a little, put a little pad underneath. Yeah, or something. Right? Nothing says you can't do that. Land on a pad, absorb some of that shock. Seriously, seriously. Uh, may roll yeah. off of it somehow. Um, 
Okay, see, so I'm heaving at that point. Yeah, oh. I see. I see. You're you're heaving. Heart rate is high. Um, mm -hmm. Now, you know, you're 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 pacing. Are you glancing at a clock as you're looking at this to sort of you know think I got three more rounds? Yeah, I'm at eleven and a half minutes. Yep. yep. What starts to happen and in your he head? He was here? giving me. He was giving me a countdown. We're not there yet, okay. but um, well, maybe maybe he did say four minutes to go, and then I know I heard him say two and a half minutes to go, and at that point, then you know, as 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 experienced of athletes as we are, it still uh, crept up on me, and I was like, oh gosh, I've got so many more reps. How am I going to move through this mm -hmm. with two and a half minutes to go? And I'm like, well, I don't think I can go unbroken on these. So I think I need to keep my rep scheme up, but can I, how, how, how do I move faster? And it just didn't happen. And we call this time but slippage. I moved in the, in the, it, <laughs> I know it's, it's the know. time all of a sudden, all of a sudden the time you're running mm -hmm. out of time and there's nothing right. you can do to slow down the clock. Every time you glance, glance at the clock, I imagine you're shocked at how much time has gone by. Yes. Um, yeah. Again, I, I, you know, watching the video, I'm watching your thrusters. It's crystal clear on my side. Cause it, I'm, I'm the one that's streaming it. Um, Rick, the thrusters mm -hmm. look good. They look solid. Um, talk about on thrusters and bar muscle ups, um, in your experience, proper form mm -hmm. and technique trumps, um, uh, improper form and technique when you're fatigued, right. wouldn't you sure. say? Sure. Like, uh, I would. And I think I just mentioned that I would power clean up, yeah. power clean that first one to make sure I had balance. Because if you have good balance on a heavy thruster, um, it just makes the thruster that much more smooth as you, as you described, right? If I'm a little off balance and then I'm into the forward, into, under the balls of my feet, it, you know, then you're into the front of your quads. Yeah. Um, you're leaning out in front. It's just not a smooth movement. Uh, I think the, the bar carries you instead of you controlling the bar. So again, proper positioning makes it a smooth, um, a smooth lift. It's just, uh, you know, 30, remember we're looking at the last, uh, set that should have been 35 total thrusters after doing 50. Exactly. So it's not like if, if we had reversed this workout, which I don't think they ever would have, but if we had reversed it, you would certainly make your way through the five rounds of seven and seven a little bit better. And yes. then I wonder what that 50 and 50 would feel like on the back half. Oh, it would be terrible. Um, it would be truly awful. It would be some of the, the saddest 95 yeah. pound thrusters we've ever done. Now you're, Correct. you're getting into round four here, uh, on the second mm -hmm. half of this workout, you've got, uh, less than a minute to go. And, and he's in my ear. So I'm, yep. I'm aware of my time. Yep. Um, I know, he, I know he said one minute and you know, he does his little look back there too. And sure. I'm like, I know I got to go, I got to finish these thrusters and then I've got to see what I can do on the bar. And, uh, you know, okay. So this is my final set of thrusters. Again, I wore black shorts. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. You know, you're honestly your depth and the lighting and the angle of the camera. Uh, yeah, we don't want to wear black mm -hmm. shorts when we're doing workouts and we're yep. videoing, but yep. we're honestly, squatting. you, you right. are making it. It, it dramatically clear that your squats are below oh, parallel. I mean, because the weight, the, the weight is crushing me. If I could go <laughs> an inch or so higher, I would, but I think the barbell is controlling me. At it, I mean, I'll tell so, you for me on thrusters, not going to depth is harder than just going to depth. I'm always correct. looking for the rebound, Absolutely. right? Look for the bounce. Yep. And you know, wearing knee sleeves. I know you talked about that in yep. your prep video too. Yep. Um, knee sleeves and I are married. Yep. So that's quite all right. Um, and then I knew I just had to keep going. Um, he gave me a 15 seconds and I dropped. I probably could have squeezed one more out. Maybe one more. That um, was very he, tight. He very close. He did give me a 15 second warning yeah. and I, I had, uh, I would, you know, th a few more to go. So, uh, you know, the skill level, um, the weight went up and the skill level went up, which is what we expected for the third workout. Yes. Um, there were no max lifts this, this year. Uh, unlike last year, we had, had the, uh, max thruster. Right. Um, in the middle of the second one, then we had heavy snatches at the end, I think of the third Correct. One. That's right. We had two heavy the last year. Yeah. So nothing heavy this um, year. It makes me think that the, op yeah. the open is a, is, is fairly inclusive. Um, although bar muscle ups mm -hmm. and heavy thrusters are, are very, very challenging, uh, for the, a large, a portion of the population that are doing this. Uh, but maybe they're saving those heavy lifts, uh, those higher level gymnastics, uh, for quarterfinals where I, I almost think of quarterfinals with the top 25 going 
two quarterfinals as almost a continuation of the open and then mm-hmm. semifinals being that, you know, that last round of qualification, not necessarily a continuation of the open, but for the most competitive out there or those competitors out there, that's where some of the more complex tests will come. And I'm glad that, that this, uh, this third effort is going to give people the opportunity to get their first bar muscle up. Um, you know, Absolutely. even the fact that they will have to get through seven heavy thrusters before they even get to test that bar muscle up just puts right. puts a really fun line in the sand for those that are looking to achieve something pretty cool. Um, but besides that, your thoughts on the workout, you know, are you, are you not that we have any, it doesn't matter what we think about it, but do you feel like this is a good, no. a good test to round out this year's open? This felt very openish. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, you know, we we didn't follow the formula last year, mm-hmm. but in many, many years past, it's always been some type of pulling mm-hmm. and a thruster. Yeah. Uh, it's been chest to bar, it's been bar muscle ups, and it's been uh, regular pull ups. And this year was no different. Um, yeah. It was an interesting combination. You know, for week, week one was a couplet, uh, week two was a triplet, and here you go back to a couplet again. Right. I guess you can call it a couplet. Uh, with these two movements. So what we didn't see is a chipper right. of really any sort. So um, expect a chipper. I know, exactly. <laughs> we, we can start speculating yeah. very soon about what we might see in quarterfinals and semifinals if we think about the CrossFit yeah. methodology, you know, seeing um, seeing seeing chippers in there um, as well as... Uh, the box is going to come out. Some, some really gnarly stuff. Gonna come yeah. Out. yeah, it'd be really interesting yeah. stuff. I mean, I, I, unfortunately... You and I will go into this with uh, certainly much more detail, but we're not at a community level yet where they can trust us with anything other than a rower. Right. So it's good to work on the bike. It's good. Both bikes, Echo yeah. and C2. It's yeah. good to work on the ski erg. Um, it's good to work run on the assault runner. But if they're going to test us anything other than rowing, it's going to be shuttle runs. Yeah. So that's yeah. just the way you have to do it with a online uh, competition. But, uh, you know, this felt very open, like uh Great environment, had the two buddies there on the other side, Cameron, Craig, good judge. You know, it was, I'll tell you what, I felt, even though this crushed me, it felt better than doing it at 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> and that's what I don't have to do tomorrow morning. So um, I'll go in and get a regular training session in. Yeah. Um, and then if somebody needs help ju- being judged or something like that, I'll jump in. Yep. Volunteer that. And Saturday, same thing. I'll train, but I'll also help judge. And we'll see how the legs feel on Sunday. Yeah. And if, if it's even needed, it, I don't know. Right. And now just, I've just, how much, how much do I learn? What, what do we learn from this? And you know, it, that's, yeah, uh, I, I can't say anything to that until I get into this workout and do it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, strangely I've done both of the, and I do say strangely because I really, uh, rarely retest open workouts and, and you and I talk about this all the time, that it doesn't mm-hmm. matter. It's a one and done kind of thing. And then I go and retest the first two open workouts of 2024 when it really doesn't matter because making the top 25 is the goal. I know, but, but there is some element of, of, uh, satisfaction, I guess, or curiosity maybe for me when I complete a workout. And then I, I think to myself that if I, if I would have done it differently, I think I could have a dramatically different result. Um, and then I, and then I retest it and, uh, you know, I, I probably make some people mad by retesting it. Uh, at least my, my good friends uh, give me a lot of mm-hmm. uh, crap about retesting, which is fine. And I love it. And I love my training partners uh, here in, in Birmingham when I'm telling them, guys, Monday morning, buckle up, we're retesting. Now, this one. And they're like, oh. they, they're mad. Yeah, they're just mad. They, they just. <laughs> um, but on this workout, thrusters and pull ups, like we know this. We know the pain that goes al- uh, along with this, having mm-hmm. watched, you know, the uh, the, the mortals. The, of the community do it as part of the announcement, watching the pros, the elite athletes do it as part of the announcement, um, watching the wheel wad announcement as well. And seeing mm-hmm. the devastation, watching you complete this and just seeing how, how heavy you're breathing for such a long amount of time. All mm-hmm. of that tells me that I'm, I should just try to do this one time and just be done with it. Cause it's just going to be so unpleasant. Um, that's okay. Uh, well, I, you, you, you have this, a very good mindset uh, for this, but it's, I think it's worth repeating because I told myself this before I started, I was like, man, I really do not want to do this two times. This is before I'm like, this is a competition. I am walking out on the competition floor where I do not get a second chance. Yep. So 
make it count. Yeah. And then, you know, two minutes left and I'm doubled over, can't <laughs> breathe. And I'm thinking, oh my God, how am I going to, I should be done. These movements, I, I love being on the bar. Yeah. I love the bar muscle ups. And then I uh, fell a little short, but all was not lost. It was a good, uh, good experience. It was a good open. Yeah. Hey, and what's the most important thing? We've emerged healthy. Yes. Can't, you can't make it to quarters if you're not healthy. So, yep. Remember that. That, that is the ultimate, yeah. uh, that's the ultimate challenge for this workout because this this workout does increase the risk of injury um not necessarily mm -hmm. chest to bar pull-ups 50 chest to bar pull-ups isn't really that much volume 50 thrusters no. is not that much volume at 95 you know that's nope. pretty something we're something we're accustomed to but when we start moving into heavy thrusters under fatigue uh, a little bit of sloppiness can mess some things up either a hip a lower back yep. Um, lower back those kinds of things can happen under fatigue so i think that is the that is the 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 advice out there is that you know stay in your lane um you know it's mm -hmm. definitely time to push it you get to do this one time a year but it's not uh it's not time to get injured it's not time if you have a lower back injury and you're worried you're a little nervous about it probably want to tap the brakes and don't do anything really crazy uh on this workout right i mean that's not to say well, not do it but just that we're not getting crazy right the belt the belt I needed the belt. Yeah. I just know how my lower back feels. Um, I already took some shit from a buddy. He's like, you are a belt. You wasted time with the belt. I'm like, Shane, if I didn't wear the belt, I'd still be standing there gasping for air. It really doesn't matter. I, now, but the yeah. belt felt good yeah. at the bottom of the thrust of the 135 thruster. Yes. And to me, I know myself. I know my lower back. I need that. Yep. I need the belt. And I, I didn't double uh, loop it. It's um, an element belt. Yes. It's got the locking mechanism. I did not use that. So I just, I trust the Velcro and it didn't let me down this time. So it was easier on and off. I felt like I didn't waste time doing that at least. And I if you're, if you're watching the clock or if you're counting your breaths, I mean, you're not going from Good the pull point. up bar to thrusters, uh, in that capacity. Anyway, you, you're right. You are breaking there to, to chalk or breathe or put on a belt. Anyway, if a belt is something mm -hmm. that helps that compressive, uh, you know, explosiveness out of the bottom on the thrusters. I mean, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm sure I will test with and without a belt, um, for the same reason. Um, uh, I, I tend to struggle with, uh, breathing with a belt, but, I, and I'm trying to remember if the mm -hmm. semifinals okay. workout that we did last year where we had ring muscle ups and thrusters yeah. trying to remember if I wore a belt or not. And I, I probably should just go back and look at some pictures. Just go uh, back in your video. Yeah. And yeah. just see what I did. So, uh, curious just looking at the past. Cause I, Whatever I did then worked great. So I'll have to just see if I did. Okay. Just, just mimic that. Yeah. And I already know I have, um, I have, um, uh, in mind some athletes in our 50 to 54 group that, that knocked that, um, out of the park last, yeah. yes. uh, May, I think is when we went. Yeah. I expect the same because of the similar stimulus for this one. Uh, so don't let me down guys. And, um, you talked in your video about uh, perhaps wearing lifters. Uh huh. You know, I, I do like thrusters and wearing lifters at times if that's all I'm doing. I don't like pairing lifters with bar. I am right. You know, pull ups and stuff. So to me, it was the wear the belt and wear regular nanos or yep. wear your regular CrossFit shoes. Yep. And that's what worked. And that's, I, I think okay. I'm doing that same strategy. Um, my ankle mobility, I, I mean, uh, lifters would certainly uh, give me a slight improvement in my posture on the thrusters. Mm -hmm. um, but I've worked on my ankle mobility excessively for the last, uh, I can't even, you know, 10 years, really. Um, and because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm good at both of these movements. I'm good at thrusters. I'm good at uh, all, all the gymnastics work that's in this, in this workout. Uh, you know, an, an, extra, an extra little bit of weight is um could, could make a little bit of a difference could be distracting as well uh so i mm -hmm. probably during my warm-up tomorrow i will test both actually, i actually have two different pairs of lifters that I, I might try uh one pair is a little bit lighter one pair is a little more robust uh i have noble lifters from the games and i have uh new tier lifters um and they're a little bit heavier mm -hmm. and i also have my nanos um i also have strike movement that i i accidentally forgot all of my CrossFit shoes, well, all of my normal shoes on Monday's retest of 24.2. And so Whoa. I just had my strike What'd movement wear? shoes on. Um, okay. And I don't even lace them. Fine. They fit my feet perfectly. I don't lace them. But now I'm going to do, uh, you know, eight, 
500 double unders, so I laced them up appropriately. Um, and that worked fine. So the worst comes to worst, you could do this barefoot if you had to. Um, mm -hmm. Probably should wear shoes, but you could. Um, so Fear of dropping something like moving that. forward. Uh, okay, so yes. advice. I, I'd like you to give advice to two separate groups of people. Um, okay. Those that are not as fit as you. Okay. Um, you are a world class 50 plus, you know, CrossFit athlete. Um, so what's your advice to those that are, you know, new, maybe this is, you know, they're one of their first, you know, handful of opens, um, and they're still kind of gathering mm -hmm. th themselves up, they're still learning, maybe they haven't experienced this combination yet this push pull that we have on this third workout. Right. So advice to those. And then I want you to give me advice. Um, you know me. And so I want to I want yeah, to I know, give you the opportunity I know you. to do both. Okay. All right. Um, first set i would say if uh, it's your first if, if you had a couple opens under your belt but you're still working on uh putting together a higher skill movement like a uh, bar muscle up um i would uh pace yourself knowing how you are going to react to uh 50 thrusters and 50 chest bars i'm assuming that uh that is an athlete that has a 95 pound thruster and a 95 pound uh, i mean and a chest bar pull up so you don't have to race through it. Um, your sticking point is probably going to come in the heavy thruster. And if you get the seven heavy thrusters out of the way, maybe your next sticking point is, is the proficiency with which you have or don't have on a, uh, a bar muscle up. So, uh, get through, take your, take your minute rest. Uh, and even if you have to do doubles, maybe even singles. I did see already a couple clips of some people doing just singles on the, on the heavy thrusters, get your seven, and then you're going to have a lot of time left to work on, you know, th that, uh, the, the proper bar muscle up, whether mm -hmm. the first one happens to be that chicken wing, which you see a lot of people when they get close to their first, that's an instinctual movement where they just slide the arm over and they were up above the bar and then we can press out or, um, you're able to swing and have enough hip drive that you can just, you can cross over the top of the bar and you can press out from there. Um, to put seven, if you're only a few opens in to put seven bar muscle ups together might take perhaps the balance of the time. Um, but as we heard during the broadcast, every one of those muscle ups is going to be, uh, major points on the leaderboard. So the, the frustration can come after the celebration can come after. Um, you need to stay focused and in the moment with getting yourself through those first seven heavy thrusters and then concentrate on uh, doing what you've practiced with that uh, attempting the bar muscle ups. That's the, my advice for that, for the first group. For you, <laughs> uh, already you've explained to me how many things you're going to, how many uh, variables you're going to have to knock off or practice just before you, before you actually go. Um, so by the time you've hit your timer and you're a three, two, one go, you're going to feel comfortable in your equipment, your pacing and your rep scheme. Mm -hmm. And who doesn't love the phrase, everybody has a plan until they're punched in the face or something to that effect. Uh, however, what I've noticed from you is that your ability to even adapt on the fly after getting punched in the face, you could still, you know, maybe it's an extra couple of breaths but you're still not going to deviate that far from your plan. And we're not talking about something that's going to take you an inordinate amount of time. Seven bar muscle ups yeah. is, is, should be even under fatigue uh, should be unbroken for you. So I think your biggest thing is just going to have to guard against um, going a little too fast in the first 50, 50. Yeah just so that you know, because you have the capacity, you'll know you'll be able to go uh, probably 7-7 seven, seven on the second half, or at worst, 4-3 and then 7 bar right. muscle ups. Right. With limited break. Yep. So watch yourself on the first 50-50. I, I, I have been repeating that over and over to myself, uh, over and over. And and anybody that's asking me, uh, and they're talking about going 10 and 10, and, and, and we've got sleep, everything <laughs> tells me that we got to tap the brakes mm -hmm. early on. Uh, it's the workouts, not the fifth, first 50, 50. It's not, it's the buy-in. Uh, it's a hundred rep mm -hmm. buy-in to the workout. Um, and you just, you can't go too slow and run out of time. Right. And you certainly can't go too fast uh, because there's, 
you're, you're, you're not recovering in a minute. Uh, it is a nice, uh, lovely transition uh, from one level of pain to a whole new level of pain. So um, <laughs> it's fun. I, I hate that you've done it already. I'm, I'm, I'm jealous that you've done it. Well, I'm jealous that you're on the other side of it already. This, this was me last week. I know. Remember, this is why we try, we try these things. Yep. We'll go back into training. We'll go back into regular training and just swap stories. Oh, so much fun. Uh, and I'll, I'll see a couple of your videos and, yep. and uh, we'll still continue to share. But, um, you know, this is, uh, you know, this is, I think, just another training piece for you. So, yep. uh, you know, you'll want to push it because you have uh, the competitive uh, drive and, and yep. you're going to want to finish high on the on the leaderboard. Uh, I'm through this. We'll see how I feel. I've got my recovery pants ready to put on after yes. this and uh, go eat some more food and then get back to work this weekend. That's it. Back to work. And then next week, Rick, it is, uh, you know, all eyes towards quarterfinals. And uh, honestly, actually, huh. next week, um, next huh. weekend, I'll be competing at Beach Brawl uh, with a, a team of, oh, uh, oh, yeah. of Boulder athletes. Three of us 40 plus guys are going to do, uh, actually, we're all 45 plus. Uh, we'll all be doing Beach uh -oh. Brawl and a little spring break. So, you know, I, I don't, I mean, I, I, I'm spring, having spring break with a couple of guys that, uh, well, families, of course, but. Um, we'll mm -hmm. all be training down there through spring break as well. So oh, a couple fun. mega sessions fun. and beach time is what will be happening down there. And I'll squeeze in some work. We'll do podcasts, of course, to be, to be able to share that experience. Again, that's the weekend after this weekend. Uh, and then, okay. I mean, in, in no time, we'll already be speculating and thinking about quarterfinals. I'm sure we'll have some guests on between now and quarterfinals. Correct. As soon as quarterfinals are released. That. Uh, you know, be sure to tune in that night. We will have our recap, of course, and our thoughts on all the quarterfinal mm -hmm. workouts. It'll be a Wednesday when they're released. And so we'll have a special episode that night. Clear the schedules. Um, Today is the 14th. I think we're at about 32, 33 days yep. Yep. until quarterfinals. So, so fun. It's just the best time of year. It's yeah, such a the, fun season. The fitness that you're working on now will probably pay off for quarters, but everything that you've done uh, you, you're not going to get more fit in the next day or two. You're just going to let this uh, 24.3, let it go and hang, hang on and uh, enjoy it. Well, we're working down the road. Rick, thanks for sharing uh, about your experience. Thanks for letting us share you're your welcome. video. Uh, you know, it, it's, yep. there's a lot of transparency when, when you share a video early and, and a lot of, and there might be mm -hmm. a lot of people that see it, uh, but it was really fun to see you tackle that, um, have crisp, clean movements, you know, again, Hiller can look at this, your video all day and there's nothing that he's going to take away from that. I, um, <laughs> and again, we, in the latter half of that workout, that was not what I was thinking about. <laughs> I was like, can I breathe? No, but can I please breathe? Hey, you got, it's, you, at the same time, when you're doing stuff like that, you do not want a no rep in the middle of correct having a, you correct. know, of having a, a heart attack. Um, Mm -hmm. that's a bad omen. So in the middle of having a hard time breathing right. because the workout is so hard. Correct. Uh, but Correct. yeah, Rick, Correct. thanks for, thanks for doing that. Uh, thanks for making yourself available tonight. Um, we love this. And uh, those that are listening, enjoy the final workout of the open. Uh, have a little yes. smile on your Thank face you. at that 15 minute mark and have some fun, have some fun. Yeah. All right, Rick, we'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in to the Masters in Motion podcast. We'd be so grateful if you could take a moment to leave us a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts or your preferred podcast app. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us reach more listeners and grow our Masters community. Until next time, get bolder, not older.